Robbie Weeds here. Uh, we have a uh, maple here. Uh, looks like a silver maple or something like that. Um, with a severe um, chlorosis of the leaves. Looks like iron or manganese. I say iron because usually uh, manganese deficiency are just on new growth. They'll have the um, chlorosis, uh, mid vein chlorosis. You see how it uh, gets lighter in between the veins and iron deficiency usually is through the entire tree and as you can see it's here now deficiency means it's just not getting into the tree that doesn't mean that there's no iron or manganese in the soil and a big contributing factor of why that may not be getting into the tree is the pH the pH of the soil is a huge factor in how much is available in the soil for the tree to take up so a soil test here would tell you one if it, there is any iron or manganese in the soil and two if the pH is allowing any available nitrogen or any available mi micronutrients to even be able to be uh, taken up by the roots so the first thing I would do here is do a soil test um, and then from there you could tell your next game plan and I would no matter what uh, do a, a organic fertilizer with manganese and iron uh, the micronutrients um, manganese to iron would be a one to two ratio so if there was a, um, a four part uh, manganese to eight part nut, uh, iron that's what I would start with but um yeah this is a very telltale um, uh, that uh, the tree is not accepting a lot of iron or manganese I'm leaning towards the iron but it could be both of them as well um, and because uh, usually manganese in between the uh, the veins it gets tan and with iron it gets white and this looks more white to me so um, like I said uh, a soil test first costs 14 bucks and then um, I would uh, uh, get some organic fertilizer with plenty of micronutrients to at least get something in the soil and then you're dealing with the pH to make it available so um, that's what I would do here Robbie weeds out <laughs>